Lagos Archipelago is an incredible place. This remote group of tiny coral islands is surrounded by the cleanest seawater tested anywhere in the world, cleaner even than Antarctica. It's home to the world's largest living coral atoll. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea, an important breeding ground for a large number of significant species. Wildlife thrives here. Chagos hosts an abundance of fish that is six times greater than anywhere else in the Indian Ocean. It boasts the world's largest strictly no-take marine reserve, protecting an area twice the size of Great Britain from fishing and other extractive activities. Fish here have no reason to fear people. We work with leading organisations including the Zoological Society of London, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds and the Royal Botanic Gardens Q to protect the Chagos and its unique environment. CCT members lead research expeditions involving scientists from all around the world. Innovative techniques trialled here can inform the management of other large marine reserves. Each voyage makes new discoveries about the diverse habitats and teeming wildlife here. Also known as the British Indian Ocean Territory, or BIOT, this is the most biodiverse marine environment under British jurisdiction. We advise the BIOT administration on how best to manage the reserve to protect this ecosystem. CCT scientists have monitored coral in the Chagos for over 35 years. Their research shows that these reefs have rebounded from climate change impacts particularly well. Further studies could help protect reefs worldwide. Because the Chagos Islands have no resident population, they have saved many of the stresses caused by human presence that reefs elsewhere suffer. The only people living within thousands of miles are at the US Navy facility on Diego Garcia. This is excluded from the marine reserve, but has several strict conservation rules of its own. The UK government's decision to depopulate the Chagos Islands in the 1960s and 70s to allow this base to be established for international defence purposes remains a highly controversial issue. Some Chagossians seek a right of return. CCT's position on this is strictly neutral. Whatever the policy, CCT will continue to provide the best possible advice on the environmental conservation of the Chagos. With our partners, we engage with members of the Chagossian community on environmental issues affecting the Chagos and offer training opportunities to young Chagossians to develop their conservation skills. Our bursaries enable one graduate from our programme to attend every CCT-led research expedition. In this way, we are helping to train a new generation of young Chagossian scientists and involve them in the environmental conservation of the Chagos. The Chagos Archipelago is as important as the Galapagos or the Great Barrier Reef, a time capsule showing us how marine ecosystems could have operated hundreds of years ago. In a world with very few unspoiled wild places, we need to protect this truly precious and unique environment. Thank you.